What's going on everybody? So as you can see, I've got the Ergo 2 chair next to me and I've got the 2020 Titan Soft Weave from Secret Lab. I was recently shopping around trying to pick a nice office chair and I was stuck between these two chairs. I couldn't make a decision, so I bought them both. And now I'm gonna give kind of my first impressions on them. I decided since they both have pretty decent return policies that I would go ahead and purchase them and you know make my mind up by testing them out. So I had a budget and I wanted to stay under a certain amount which I had set before going out and looking around for a chair. After a lot of research, I was torn between the Secret Lab Titan chair and the Autonomous Ergo 2 chair. I decided to pick both of them up because I couldn't make a decision based off of different reviews online without testing them out for myself. If you watch enough YouTube or if you scroll on Instagram or if you're just online, you're gonna see Autonomous sponsors a lot of different people by giving them free chairs in exchange for videos, by giving them free desk in exchange for videos and promotion of their product. Secret Lab, on the other hand, I didn't really find too many sponsored videos. I have a buddy of mine who originally recommended Secret Lab before I even started building my office and also a fellow YouTuber, Tadas, he recommended the Titan. He spoke very highly of this chair and that's why I decided to pick both of them up. I was ready to just pull the trigger on the Ergo 2 because it looks like a good chair. It was cheaper than the Titan because the Titan is a little bit more expensive, about $100 or so more than what the Ergo 2 costs. But I will tell you this, I had the Ergo 2 about a week before I got the Titan. And honestly, after sitting in that chair for a week, it wasn't that comfortable. And this is not a sponsored video. I'm not paid by either of these companies. I went out on my own and spent my hard earned money on these chairs because that's what normal people do who don't have a bunch of subscribers or a big social media following. They gotta pay for stuff. So this is an unbiased, honest opinion on these two chairs. And after I sat on that Ergo 2 for a week and this Titan showed up and I put it together and I sat in this chair, I immediately knew that this was the one that I was gonna keep. It was a night and day difference between these two chairs. Autonomous makes a lot of different products. They make chairs, they make standing desks, they even make face masks now because they're, you know, they see a good opportunity with COVID to go ahead and make some money on face masks. But Secret Lab, I don't see anything else that they make. They specialize in chairs. And their attention to detail on everything in this chair is amazing. I I never been someone who, you know, got psyched up about unboxing stuff. When the Ergo 2 chair showed up, it comes in a basic box. It's right there. It's just a box that you would expect a chair to come in. Nothing fancy, plain old cardboard, some styrofoam, and some plastic. I wasn't expecting anything else from a chair. I put it together, I sat in it, and I, I thought it was good. Then, a week later, the Titan showed up. Now, I, I buy a lot of stuff, I'm, I'm pretty big on electronics, and I've just never been someone who, you know, gets all riled up to open up packaging. But I immediately could tell that they care about their product enough to give the user a good experience right from the beginning. Just from the get-go, putting that chair together, I was having more fun. And that sounds weird because you're like, you're putting a chair together, dude. Who has fun putting a chair together? The assembly time on the chairs were about the same. No, no big difference there. But as I was putting this Titan chair together, I can feel everything felt higher quality immediately. From the armrest to the levers to the, this thing. So the, the little plastic coverings that cover up the metal piece where you screw the back piece into the, into the bottom part, they're held together by magnets. So that if you bump into something, you don't break a clip on your chair. It just falls off. I'm assuming sometimes people probably bump into stuff and I'm guessing that that's why they made, made a magnets here. 
rather than clips. Pretty nice. I mean, you see how quick I put that back on? You know, they got, they got the lever where you can lean all the way back and you can lean back on that thing too, right? And if you look at the autonomous chair, you would think that it has really good lumbar support because it looks all fancy and they got all these different things here. And you would think that, you know, they have these armrests that move up and down and so do these. That's, that's almost expected in a chair that costs over 300 bucks. I mean, if it's not gonna have those things and you're paying that much money for it, you're not getting your money's worth for the chair. But the quality, the attention to detail, on the bottom of this chair, they hold the chair together with a metal rod that runs through the cloth and then they have rings that go through the cloth and around the metal rods so that it doesn't tear, it's not stitched. It's held together with metal rings or aluminum rings or whatever they are. Just everything about them. One thing that I hate about both, neither of them had rollerblade wheels. I feel like in this day and age, you're buying a nice chair, rollerblade wheels should be a standard thing. But they are decent wheels. The wheels on this one were, were decent too. The wheels on the Ergo chair were decent. The Titan, the, the Titan's decent too. But the Titan, where you attach the wheels, is made of metal. On the Ergo 2, that's a plastic piece. Another thing I didn't like about the Ergo 2 is this back piece here. It came in and it's, I don't know if it's the press that they use for their plastic, but it looks like it's all scuffed and worn. It, it, right out of the box, it looked that way. And it wasn't that it was damaged in the box. It just looks that it's like it's damaged. It, it's, it, it's cheaply made compared to this secret lab chair. I mean, I don't know. Maybe their they, their their cost is the same. I doubt it. The mesh back is is nice. It's not a completely uncomfortable chair, but I will say that the foam in this feels like the foam that you would expect to get in a chair that you bought at Walmart. It feels the autonomous chair, the Ergo Two, feels like a chair that should cost no more than two hundred bucks. It does not feel like a three hundred dollar chair or a four hundred dollar chair if you're paying full price without a coupon. That's what it probably costs after after taxes and, and all that. Uh, both of the, both of them shipped for free, which was pretty nice. But I'll go ahead and switch so you can just see some of the Titan. It, this is the soft weave edition. It's two thousand twenty. It's got suede on the sides here, which is pretty cool because although. This isn't leather and it doesn't have that effect on a leather chair, you know, kind of leather gets a little sticky, but the quality, it's just, it's just such a better chair. If you, if you have the extra money to spend, I'm like, I don't even want to sit in that thing anymore. Like seriously, if, it, if you have the extra 120 bucks to spend, I would definitely go with the Titan. If you're between this Ergo 2 chair and maybe a chair from Ikea or a chair from Amazon. I honestly think that they're probably going to be very similar. I was very disappointed with the foam. The, the, the foam felt cheap. When I sat on this, it felt like good, high quality foam. I, I, I don't want to keep trashing the Ergo 2 chair, but I think it's necessary considering how many people are sponsored by Autonomous and are making videos recommending this chair. I don't think it's worth it. I didn't make this video to trash talk it. I really made this video to compare the Ergo 2 to the Titan. And I'm sure that a lot of people are gonna watch this video and say, well, of course it's gonna feel cheaper. It is cheaper. Yeah, but it's still an expensive chair. And it's not a Herman Miller chair. It's not $1,500. It's not, it's not a top of the line chair, but I don't know, man. I've, I've sat in Ikea chairs and I would say that it was comparable to the $200 Ikea chair, which I was, I was looking at buying as well, but I felt that maybe if I spent a little more, I would get my money's worth. And I actually went to Ikea and sat in that chair and I would say that they're very comparable, the Ergo 2 and an Ikea chair. With all that said, if you're torn between these two chairs, if these are the chairs you're looking at, if you're thinking, man, I really want that Secret Labs, but it's a little bit more than I want to spend. And the Ergo 2 looks cool, and I see so many people recommending it. Trust me, take my word on this. It came from personal recommendations. 
And here's my personal recommendation. If you have the extra money, buy this chair. If you are someone who works at your desk all day and you're gonna be sitting in this thing, after sitting in that Ergo 2 chair, no matter how much I move the headrest around to get it in a good spot, no matter how much I adjusted the lumbar support that they have back here, I felt uncomfortable after sitting in it for a while. I sat in this thing pretty much all day today before making this video at work. I am a software developer. I am at my computer all day long. I have a sit and stand desk because I, I wanna save my back and not just sit down the whole time. But I didn't even notice I was sitting, it was so comfortable. And I was very skeptical buying a gaming chair, buying a race car chair, because that's what these look like. And I, years ago, when these first started coming out, not, not this chair particularly, but this style of chair, I bought a race car chair, one of the cheap ones on Amazon that was like 170 bucks. I, I, I say it's cheap, but it wasn't a $500 chair. You know, it had the foot rest that came out, it leaned all the way back, just kind of like this one does. This doesn't have a foot rest, but you get what I'm saying? And that thing was uncomfortable which made it to where I did not want to buy another race car chair or another gamer chair. I wanted to buy an adult ergonomic chair that's going to be comfy and I'm going to be able to sit in it for a long time and it's not going to wreck my back and it's not going to hurt my neck. And although this chair looks like it's that kind of chair, it just wasn't that good. It really, it really wasn't. So there you have it. That's my unbiased opinion. With all that said, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you make your decision, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I've been doing some gear review. I did a video on my monitor. I did a video on my whole developer productivity desk setup, and I'm gonna be reviewing more gear. I'm still gonna be talking about learning how to code, so if you're into that also, make sure to check out some of my other videos, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.